Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Amanda Barrows. Today we're doing something completely different. Up until now, I've mainly made videos about various, but mostly Mac mini related tech products. If you're into that kind of stuff, I'll have some of my recent videos up around here somewhere for you to check out. So far I've posted 10 videos. A couple of them have been shorts. I started posting back at the end of December, 2020, and I've gained 50 some odd subs. I guess I should probably give you an idea of what this new segment is before I get into it a little more. So I'm basically doing a grow with me segment based on YouTube analytics. The reason is because I realized that there's so much about YouTube analytics and YouTube studio stats that I just didn't know about. To get into it a bit more, I guess the reason I want to do this is because before I started posting videos back in December, I had no idea what all making one video entailed. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. You record a video, you edit it, and then you post it, right? But if you've ever created any content for YouTube, you already know that there's so much more that goes into it. Putting aside the amount of time it takes into creating one single video, just understanding the analytics is time consuming in itself. So I found myself doing a lot of research on how to optimize my videos and just what kinds of resources to use. So I decided to create content off of my analytic journey just because that's something I spend so much time on. I figured I couldn't be the only one struggling with this. I mean, it can literally be so overwhelming. I've watched all sorts of videos on keywords, titles, tags, thumbnails. Everyone basically says the same stuff, so I wanted to give frequent updates of what all I am trying and things that I've noticed are actually working versus things that are not working. So I don't know a lot about the algorithm or YouTube analytics, but I'm constantly doing research and learning new things. So if you want, you can join my journey as I make mistakes and try out different things to see what works for my channel and maybe something that could possibly work for your channel as well. My goal here is to find out what works and what doesn't work through trial and error. I am starting off with minimal knowledge about YouTube analytics. So this is a genuine grow with me kind of scenario. So I'm going to be testing different thumbnails, different keywords, different tags, different posting times, different days, and a bunch of anything that I can alter really. And I'm also going to be using a bunch of free resources that are available to content creators just to try and figure out which one specifically is more helpful than the others. The two resources that I have been using right now are the free versions of vidIQ and TubeBuddy. You literally hear everybody talking about these and swearing by them. I have still to master them. I don't even think I am using them to like a little bit of the capacity that they're capable of, but that's basically what this is all about. I want to go through it with you guys who are just starting out, who are like me and have minimal knowledge about these. So I also figured I'll go into those two resources more in detail, but that's gonna be in a future video once I kind of go over it a little bit more. But for now, I'm just gonna be going over the basics. I've also been messing around with YouTube Shorts. If you don't know what that is, it's basically TikTok, but for YouTube, it's under 60 second clips, um, kind of like a trailer for whatever you're posting. And it's really good for bringing in new subscribers, bringing in new views, new attention to your content. So as in a smaller YouTuber or a smaller content creator, it's really helpful to be able to get on the short shelf to get your content out there more than you typically would be able to. The only thing about shorts is that it's so new that no one really knows what works and doesn't work with it. And that's kind of why I also wanna mess around with it a little bit more and basically test new things. I'm a really new channel, so I kind of have that room to mess around and try different things and see what works and what doesn't work. So far I've had one of my shorts picked up and I got a couple hundred views off of it, but I know that shorts is such a massive opportunity to bring in more attention to your channel. I wanna share my changes that I'm going to be making with my shorts as well um, and testing out what seems to work to get you on that short shelf and then also what keeps you on the short shelf for a longer period of time, which gives you a larger opportunity to be seen and, and have more people access your content. So far, the short shelf seems really random, but the way YouTube is made, I feel like there's got to, got to be some kind of system that gets you on the shelf and keeps you on the shelf. And that's basically what I'm trying to figure out here. So if you're looking to grow your channel and learn from someone else's mistakes, definitely follow along. 
I'm also open to all suggestions. So if you have anything specific you want me to look into, or if you have any pointers or advice, definitely leave a comment down below. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go through the videos that I have posted so far and just give you an idea of the different kinds of thumbnails I've used. Um, I'm not really gonna get into tags right now because that's 10 videos worth of tags, but I will from here on out start, start letting you guys see what kind of tags I'm using. So I'm just gonna go to the videos that I have published right now and just kind of scroll through and let you guys see. So, so the first video I posted was on December 22nd, 2020. That video got 425 views. If you see my thumbnail, it's just me holding the Mac Mini with a orange background. I was just trying to figure out what works and that just looked nice to me, so I did that. And then from there I posted the Mac Mini accessories, which is a little more festive. I had the lights in the background and all of that. Um, and then I actually started switching it up a little bit because I noticed that I was not getting as many views. So I tried something different with my Creative Studio. Uh, my Creative Studio video, I just did a photo of the actual um, background that I built. And that one did pretty good. The shorts actually did decent on that, so I got 185 views off of the shorts, which Shorts actually does not count to word monetization. It does help a lot because just being on the short shelf, like I said before, it brings in more attention to your channel and people are more likely to be able to see your other videos and then hopefully subscribe if they like what they're seeing. So going up a little bit further, again, if you look through my videos, you see that I've tried a bunch of different thumbnails already and I'm gonna keep switching it up. I don't think I've really found what works for me yet. I tried just the basic plain background and then with a couple of them I've actually just done still frames from my video itself which a lot of people do seem to do but I figured like creating a thumbnail might be more attractive to the eye but for my AirPods Max video I just use a still frame from my actual video as the thumbnail um, and then I actually did I also did two shorts off of that so I posted the first short and it didn't do as well as I was hoping it would do and I'm kind of messing around with the shorts and everything I've been seeing so far is talking about the retention rate and how long someone actually watches your videos and that a possibility is that the longer someone watches your videos it's that it's more likely to stay on the short shelf. So I took the same video that I had and I just took like a 10 second snippet of it and I posted it as a different short just to see if that works. And that's currently where I'm at and I'm just kind of seeing if the short shelf would pick it up. So far it hasn't, even though I have 310 views on one of them and 396 views on the other, those views are not from the short shelf at all. So with those, I'm not so much going off of the total views I'm getting, but I'm just going off of what views I'm getting from the short shelf because I kind of want to see what works to get you on that shelf because I have seen a good amount of growth just from making it onto the shelf and having more people access my content. They've then gone and um, watched a couple of my other videos and actually subscribed, which helped a lot. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I do want to make more of these videos, just kind of giving you guys updates as I keep changing things and switching things around, what kinds of tags I'm using, whether more is better or less is more. Do you need to like double down, triple down, like a lot of um, free resources tell you to do. So I think that's all I'm gonna get into today. Again, if you're looking to learn from someone else's mistakes, then this is the place to be. If you have any specific suggestions you want me to look into or any pointers or advice or anything at all, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Turn on your notifications so that you know when my future videos come out. Also keep an eye out for my video where I talk about vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. Again, I'm Amanda Barrows. Thank you for watching. Lucky I have you here to ground me